I do have kids to heal. She does something bad. I'm responsible for that because you told me to watch her. You guys are all going to understand this because one time you were a child and you did something bad to yourself, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. And you can't just go ahead and say that I'm perfect because perfect me would mean that I didn't make any mistakes. I can't forget anything. I cannot hurt myself. I cannot do anything that's wrong. It's your time what's up beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well if you're new here hi you are most welcome my name is josie and with me here is um Mikaya. yes Mikaya and i have decided to do another video thank you to everyone who left very warm comments in our previous video we really do appreciate those comments Mikaya saw all of them and she's really really happy. I mean she's all of those things you guys said you could see in that video. She's smart, she's intelligent, she's compassionate, she's loving, she's very empathetic and she's everything great and more. Even though she's all of those things, it doesn't mean that she is this perfect child and I don't want to come and sit here and paint a perfect picture of Mikaya so we decided to come here and also share some of those things that she usually does sometimes because sometimes Mikaya does some things that she knows she's not supposed to do and sometimes she doesn't do the things that she knows she's supposed to be doing sometimes when she does those things she gets a punishment for those things right yes mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm just too I'm too disappointed to even think of a punishment to give her so Mikaya is going to be sharing with you guys some of those things that she usually does when she knows she's not supposed to be doing and she's going to give us a reason as to why she sometimes does those things and she's also going to tell us some of the things that she knows she's supposed to be doing and she decides sometimes not to do those things and also she's going to tell us how she feels about all the type of punishments that we usually give her how those kind of punishments make her feel as a child and if she would prefer us to correct her in a different way so Mikaya are you ready yes are there some things that mommy and daddy told you that you should not do and sometimes you just feel like you really really need to do them or you really really want to do them even though we have told you not to do them well yes but also at the same time, I I have you have told me not to do or my dad told me not to do things. I have managed until the day I can do it to do it. Because remember when Abigail's birthday, you told me not to touch the cake and I really wanted to eat it but I didn't eat it. Yes, at least that day you obeyed and you did not touch the cake when it was not time for us to share the cake. I'm talking about those things that you actually know that you're not supposed to do, but you really have that urge to do them. Can you remember any incident when either yes. me or your dad told you not to yes. do something and you really went ahead to yes. do it? Yes. Okay. Do you want to share one of those in instances with us? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Well, one, one time I was in the house and and one of you one of you told me told me that I shouldn't eat an, another one of the fruits because I have eaten too many. But actually, when I was late, I actually went down and ate another one. Why? Why did you do that? Because I like that kind of fruit so much. Was I the one who told you not to eat more? Yes. When you came to eat it, knowing that I'm not there watching, did you care that mommy actually told you not to eat it? After eating it, I was like, oh no, I'm done. And what did you do? After. Before. Yeah, after you had already eaten it, you thought to yourself that, oh no, you should not have done that. What did you do? Mm -hmm. I said to myself, <laughs> oh no, um, what do I do now? I cannot remove the food out of my stomach. <laughs> Did you think that... I said sorry to God. Oh, you said sorry to God. Now, I'm, we're going to talk about the things that mommy or daddy clearly said you should not do and you went ahead to do it. Sometimes when you do those things that I told you not to do, if I find out that you did those things, I'll either tell you to go to your room and go stay there alone and not touch the phone or go on the xbox or yell at you when i'm really really mad right 
how do you feel those times when i when i yell at you or when i send you to your room to go and stay there because you did something you knew that you were not supposed to do how does that make you feel disappointed in myself okay do you usually feel like you actually deserve the kind of punishment mommy gives or daddy gives you for something that you did when you knew you were not supposed to do the only, the only time i, I ever feel angry about it is just you make me cry what do i do that makes you cry well sometimes you yell at me so loud i mean when you you have never explained to me i shouldn't do it mikaya you know that I hardly just yell at you for something that I have never told you not to do and you went ahead to do it. If I yell at you, it's because I've either told you once or twice or even three times that you're not allowed to do this particular thing, but you just go ahead and do it and that is what gets me really, really upset and I just yell at you. I never really yell at you for something well, that you did for the first time when I've never warned you against it. Do you usually feel like you deserve the punishment you get for doing what you know you're not supposed to do? I'm or not doing things that you know you should be doing? I never really thought about it, so no. So you, you never really think about it? So each time you do something wrong, or each time you don't do something that you're supposed to do and you get a punishment for it, you don't even think about it? Wow. I'm sorry, that's basically the only thing I think about. I'm sorry because that's the main thing I'm feeling. What's yeah. the best way you think I can discipline you? Okay, like, okay, so like. This does not mean that I'm going to be giving you only the kind of punishment that you think I should be giving you. But I need to know if there is a better way to correct you such that you should start doing things the way you are supposed to do. That is what I want to achieve. Just like limit me from the thing that you have seen that I like very much, but also it's not good for me at the same time. Like I don't know, like the Xbox or the or like like mobile, because you because you know I like spending time on the phone and my Xbox a lot. Mm -hmm. Just like limit me from it from the from something good that you really time. like. Yeah. Is that the kind of punishment that will make you really feel bad and sorry for? doing the wrong things yes, and because... it's going to stop you from doing it next time yes so how about a slap or a whip no why why can't i use a whip or a slap as a form of punishment because i think you overdo it yeah but i can do it because i think that that's the kind of punishment that's going to work so why don't you think that a whip or a smack because works? Because it hurts. Yeah, that's the whole point. To make it hurt so that next time when you think of doing what you should not be doing and when you don't remember to do the things you're supposed to do, you will think of that punishment you got last time when that thing happened and then you adjust and do the right thing. I don't think that you should always hurt me. Screaming at me is like good enough. Anyways, I've heard you, but sometimes you push me so hard that when you repeat the same mistakes over and over, it gets me really upset. It makes me feel like I'm not doing good enough as a mother teaching you. And sometimes I just want to do something that I think you will actually remember next time when you want to do things that you're not supposed to be doing. Maybe, maybe in like emotions you can punish me but not physical oh okay so you think emotional punishment would work better than physical punishment can you remember some of the things that either your dad or myself told you to do and you hardly ever remember to do them something important that you know if you don't make it a part of your life it's going to affect you as you grow older posture posture i yeah. keep forgetting to keep my back straight like, not like this, like this. Mm -hmm. That's one. Any other thing? Do you want me to say it? Do you want me to say it? Yeah. All right. Forgetting to do your homework. Oh yeah, that's one. That's one. I'm just doing it at the last second. That's like your priority. Oh, I think I can remember one more now. Mm -hmm. Um, making sure I do my priorities first before my fun. Yes, that's like the most important thing now when it comes to your education you don't have any 
bills to pay you don't have any kids to take care of you don't even take care of yourself like that i do have kids to take care of what who, do you, who do you think abigail is abigail is not your child you're not responsible for abigail i can just ask you to stay with her sometimes when i need to do something sometimes i hear your son too if i'm not watching if you told, tell me to watch her and i'm not watching her and she does something bad i'm responsible for that because you told me to watch her yes only at that moment when i told you to watch her but besides that when it comes to you as an individual your education is the only thing like the only important thing that you should be worrying about and when you forget to do your homework sometimes it gets me really worried the kind of things that are going on on your mind it makes me sometimes really scared if you have troubles or if you have some kind of things that occupy your mind if you can forget the one most important thing in your life the one thing that literally hangs in my room all week. So sometimes I even forget doing my homework. And you know that my Xbox has been acting up lately, and I and I I'm not allowed to use um. Well, I am allowed to use the tablet in my room. It's just that I can't even use it because anymore because nothing will install on there. We, I still forget to do the homework yes but why why do you usually forget to do your homework you bring it home on fridays you have all weekend you have monday tuesday wednesday and thursday that you're supposed to take it to school sometimes when i remind you to do your homework when the day comes for you to take it to school you forget do you sometimes have some things going on in your mind that makes you forget the things that are important to you Sometimes I watch way too many videos and those are the only thing on my mind. You see, that's why we decided to limit how much time you spend watching things. Because they distract you a lot from what you are supposed to do that will help your life. Do you understand? Okay, is there anything else you have to say before we end this video? I don't want it to be too long. No. Are you sure? You, you guys are all gonna understand this because one time you were a child and you did something bad to yourself, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mikaya is trying to justify her actions. And, and you can't just go on and say that I'm perfect because perfect me, would mean that I didn't make any mistakes, I can't forget anything, I cannot hurt myself, I cannot do anything that's wrong. Because you can't tell me you have not even forgotten one thing in your life. Who? Me? everybody <laughs> let me know in the comment section if you are a mother if you have children what are some of those things that your kids do that gets on your last nerve and makes you want to just give them the worst punishment ever what kind of punishment do you give your kids do you yell at them or do you hit them do you send them to the dark room to go and stay there alone do you deprive them of the things that they really love let me know in the comment section what forms of punishment you give your children when they do something bad so guys that brings us to the end of this video if you totally enjoyed watching like it subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed and do not forget to turn on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified each time i upload a new video until i come your way next time stay blessed stay safe continue to drink a lot of water and mind the business that pays you i love you all Bye-bye.